been showing this. Uh, when you say that there was the instantaneous energy was 50 times a total energy, okay. uh, can you explain that? When in a system you have an X amount of energy and you say instantaneous is 50 times that. Yes. So, so the two factors that we saw, right? Jane Jan and Najee Gautama. One had a mass 30 times bigger than our sun. The other had a mass 35 times bigger than us. So when you addition to the power of the pylon black hole pi, that is supposed to be 65 times bigger than the mass of our sun. However, the pylon black hole was 62 times bigger than the mass of the sun. So what happened is that we turn time in general with 3 times the mass of our sun, using the famous equation of Einstein e equals to mc square so m is 3 times the mass of sun we have to we have to mass energy of conversion and that is why the total energy that was emitted and all of that was more than any star can emit in the universe So it is something like a massive object sitting on the tablecloth yeah. uh, producing a curvature around yeah. itself and the other things mm -hmm. follow that trajectory. Mm -hmm. How do you explain exactly why a massive object in the void of universe is... The universe is a full dimensional object. So what you saw, okay, the sun is the sun, 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 so you, it wasn't the sun, all you, all you can see is a flat disk. A flat disk and it's a fourth dimension which is pushing it down. And because our human eyes is not used to see four dimensions, because we can only see three dimensions, right? Agar, Patel, and Brahman. So we are not used to see four dimensions. So what happens, the reason you push it down, there is, that's a complete vacuum. If I have sun, the reason it gets down and uh, anything around that, is because the fourth dimension is pushing it down. And the reason fourth dimension is pushing it down is because the energy of that object, you know, there is a mass of that object. The mass of that object affects in gravity the fourth dimension to push it down. And that is the effect. But that fourth dimension is the source of uh, what pushes the massive object down. But what is the pull around the sun that gets, uh, on which the curvature is formed? Well, so the, so mass moves curvature, curvature moves mass. It's, it's, like, it's a kind of a coupled connection. So what happens is the moment you have, the moment you take a double weight here, that means you are just going to go down. The moment you are, otherwise there is no curvature in the universe. The reason you have mass is, like for that reason that Higgs goes on, which gives us a weight, that Higgs goes on, pushes, gives us enough mass, and that's why you get pulled down, and you know, Pashiti, if you put anything else, it will be trapped in that curve. So I think that's the, that's the most reason for the curve. So is this that fourth dimension which propagates um, uh, waves to yes. go ahead? The waves is a four dimensional wave. It's not a three d wave. It's just, and it is not this, and not everything else in physics. The problem is, we do physics with maths, and we explain physics with words. And there is some things which are lost in the process, which is called a semantic loss, right? I mean, we just don't know how to expect. If I give you an equation, it's perfect. Okay, we have four dimension, Mahavish, and this is what happens. But now, if you tell me to explain in words, I just don't know. And um, yeah, but the way is actually a four dimensional thing. How do I estimate to one hundred fifty kilometers? Yes. So first, I go the distance. And then because they found it at the speed of coach, if the distance is 150 crore light years, the time it would take is 150 crore. Now how do I measure distance to the game? Now that's a bit tricky. The reason we measure distance was, uh, so let's say I have a wave, right? And I have a model. That model has a parameter which is distance. Now what I do is, okay, let's say let's put small idea to wrap up. Does that model match with the wave? No. Those are like it. Those are like it. So you keep changing the parameter of distance. And eventually you will find one solution where the signal matches exactly with the model. And that is how we are going to say, so this is the distance to the wrap up. Uh, 
I wanted to ask you if we can create space time shortcuts with uh, gravitational wave forms because uh, I have read a couple of papers and uh, in uh, wave uh, plane space time they have shown that null geodesics can move faster than on the flat space time. So basically you can make that null you can move faster in a plane wave uh, space time rather than the flat space time. Also that uh, things like uh, Curved non geodesics doesn't exist. Uh, so I also read a paper uh, in the same uh, plane wave space time, you can create a curved non geodesic in short wave in a time machine. So, how would that be possible? That would be against causality, that's why. So, what is the reason for that? Okay. Now, the reason I can go on, but I'm actually going to half of the crowd. Uh, but if you send me an email, I will be. I can actually explain the whole thing when you can interact with that. Just one more thing is that I, since the last couple of times I've been interested in the algorithms inside uh, the board drive, and uh, there have been a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, there have been a lot of advancements going on, and uh, at first they came up with something called negative energy density that could be termed to use, but there is no such thing as exotic matter that they use, sure. right? They have brought it down, and uh, we can create something called a negative pressure. By decreasing all that, we can create that with the help of the Casimir effect. Would that be possible in future to create a water with the help of that? I can answer you anyway. Yes, so, yes. I mean, the thing that you are talking is beyond what we are going to know in 50 years. I can tell you that. We are not going to know in 50 years. And definitely, that it shouldn't stop you from pursuing the here. So, these are the, a lot of current physics. Which I don't get it over negative pressure. The negative pressure is very interesting. Okay, like pressure is always a positive one. Negative pressure is a suit. Everybody was going to pass it. Positive pressure is under the negative. Negative is going to pass it. Maybe you all have it. But the interesting thing is the universe is a negative pressure. That is why the directive motion is instantly expanding much faster than what we initially thought. Now, how can the universe have negative pressure? I agree with you all. I don't have any more ambitious goals in life that I'm going to make any more discovery. <laughs> so, yeah, but then I look at scientists like Kim Kong and I ask myself, you know, can I just do one thing for 50 years of my life? Or am I better at doing small multiple things? Things like lack of security, things like education. And probably my personality will be put more of that. I would just not have the patience to do something for 50 years. Yes. Um, by using the data, and our method is also proven that this method will work. So can we use the same method to prove Hawking radiation? No. So, again, the technical question is I'll just say what is Hawking radiation. So what happens is that like they were around, before if there is no matter, Black hole can still radiate. And so then we don't really understand why, but it is what the genius has of Stephen Hawking is, and he proved can we detect it? Not with gravitational waves, but what we can do is generate gravitational waves so that when I can tell you exactly where the signal came from, you can take the best, detect, best telescope of the world point in the same direction. And if you see any radiation that came out of black hole, that because black hole absolutely cannot have any matter around them, then you know. It has to be something like talking radiation. But you have to be highly accurate to prove that you will stand for something else. Technically, black holes cannot emit anything because even if they will emit anything, that will be pulled back to them. So you have to detect something. No, no, but the line around that falls by talking radiation can be detected. But in talking radiation, one particle goes inside the black hole, the other comes out. And the pulse that comes out is what we can see. Questions? The first one? That's the one. Oh, yeah. And then we need to go Yeah, so... Yeah, we are fine, we are fine. So, uh, how is there an invariable connection between the speed of light and speed of gravity being the same? I mean, how can they both be the same? All of them postulated it uh, 100 years ago, but he didn't uh, give a uh, uh, perfect proof for it. And how could it be like exactly the same after 100 years? I feel like I'm in my PhD defense right now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the 
So the thing is there is nothing in relativity that actually tells that gravity cannot travel at speed of light. If gravity has to travel slower than speed of light, that means there has to be something called gravitons. If the light now photon for if the gravity what a graviton theory. We try to measure graviton with the discovery and our answers so far are that the value is so small that you can almost say it has no mass. But let's but hopefully in coming years we could have much more stronger power of that. understand but now we understand gravity a little better. We know that is Einstein's theory is right. And Einstein's theory does allow us some freedom. Can space travel, time travel, and was two types of thing. So maybe, I mean, we just now know that Einstein's theory is right. So eventually, when you go and do a PhD, you should take this topic. Einstein, <laughs> <laughs> it was disturbing me throughout your experience. If uh, last time when you measure it was just half a second, the effect of gravitational waves. Yes. So in future, is there any possibility that the bigger effect will affect the Earth and Mantle? Yes, that's very good. Why? I'm going to have a black hole in the middle of the picture. And the first chapter, the first chapter, the second 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 chapter, Next day after Christmas, we had a lot of vacations in the morning. That was actually, we saw 100 orbits of the two black holes. So that whole signal lasted about 5 to 6 seconds. And that's how we were able to see much better quality of signal. And we knew that. I accept the main constant and space and time bend according to it. Like I had this question when I was starting a little bit in the first year. Is there an answer? And everything bends according to it? No. Everything does not bend according to it. Right. Light follows the shortest path. Right. If the path has a curvature in between, it will still follow the curvature. Right. But the curvature did not happen because light was coming down. Right. Curvature only exists. Right. That's because the light doesn't bend in space. Right. The light doesn't bend in space. The speed. That can be measured in the interface to it is constant. That's a very philosophical question, actually. And, no, you see, it's asking that question. No, that is very well, it's asking the question. But, you see, whenever you ask any question, the answer that you can get is based on the total understanding we have because of the experiment. That is the accuracy of my answer. So, if you ask me why speed of light is faster, my standard response is, so, I will try for you. Like this, you know, you have to make sure that you can measure it. So, you have to do it for a while. So, I will try to do it for a while. And you have to do it for a while. You have to record up to the 6th to 7th decimal place, we record the same thing. And that is why it is constant. Now, if it is not constant, then we are in a lot of trouble. Because there are things in physics which we just cannot explain. Which is causality. कि वो पश्चिम मारोज टाइम में पांच और जेल हमें वो नांदर वाला पांच और उसको तो पूरा नहीं जोड़ सकते अगर स्पीड ऑफ लाइट कांस्टेंट ना हो तो यू नो ऑल दोस कॉन्सेप्ट्स कॉन्सेप्ट्स आर वेरी डिस्टर्बिंग सो दैट्स जस्ट बी ग्लैड इट्स कांस्टेंट I swear, I don't know if I can ask you a question to the question. So, this is a very nice question. I'm glad you asked this. So, the question is, the black hole is not a light for the moment, right? So, the question is, what is the question? Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. The thing is, the gravitational is black hole is under the moment. Any RG possible? 
એટલે હું જ્યારે ચાદરમાં મોટો ભક્તો માં આવું તો ચાદરમાં જ્યારે તમે ગુરુ દેખાય છે 